Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela the Traveling Crafter and I'm here with a little show and tell. Uh, a mishmash of items uh, created over the last probably month that have been kind of piling up and need to get put into their respective spots. So we, without any further ado, we will go ahead and get started. And I will say about this, it doesn't happen often. I don't go to Goodwills often, but this is a Goodwill, a lot of Goodwill hauls for the win. Uh, I did pick up this dolly book and where did I get this from? Well, I got it from Goodwill, but I can't, I don't know if I got it from the Goodwill bins or not, but I'm going to read this and a little vintage bookmarks already in there. Uh, so I was excited like that uh, about that. I like uh, Dolly a lot. And so that's for my personal reading. And then I have a stack of books and then a whole menagerie of goodies. So stay tuned. You won't want to miss them. I'm going to go a little quick through these. Uh, this one I just picked up recently in my travels. So it's just the ABC, uh, Farm ABC. So I thought I would probably either make a mini journal out of it or um, and or use the pages for some ephemera as well because it's got really, really cute. This is a Whit Whitman Teletale book. Uh, the paint book set, hmm, where did I get this out? This was from a while ago in a thrift store that I don't go to often. Um, this is from 1950, but I like this for my art journals. And um, I was happy to see this. Sometimes they have a few little vintage books and such. So I did pick up that. Uh, this one is in wonderful uh, condition. It's a wonder book, the child's first picture dictionary. This would be a bolo. I would say that if you ever find these um, older uh, first picture dictionaries, this is 1948. Uh, you know, they're still gorgeous when they're, the newer versions, but these just have something to say about them, I think. But this one uh, is going to go in my personal collection. It's in excellent shape, so it won't be used in a in a journal. Zippy the Chimp. Now, I found him in uh, an antique store. Um, he was not as inexpensive, but he, just like the kitties and the puppies, is... Um, you know, the animal and clothing books, I think is so cute. So this will go in my collection of those books. And Zippy will be the first one that I have in my first personal collection that's a monkey. Uh, I have not seen this before. I knew, knew they existed, but I have never seen one out in the wild. And so I was excited to get this. Um, it's from 1976. And the only other gingham thing that I have found in the wild was a whole paper doll set. And it was the um, blue one. It was Carrie. So I sent that to my friend Carrie because she needed it. Uh, but I thought this would be neat to use uh, all my gingham digitals and some of the uh, calico fabrics and create a, a journal out of that. Oscar's New Neighbor. Uh, I got this in Cedar Rapids as well. Uh... There is a really cute shop called Odd Mamas. Um, what street is... I'm not even going to tell you what street it is on because I will get it wrong. Um, but it's it's kind of nondescript. You know, you had, just have to look it up and, and find the address. And they had all of their... I went up. I looked through the whole place. They had a really cute, like, 1980s, 70s uh, section with kids' toys and books and stuff. And I found this, and I came down with this, and she said, you know, everything upstairs is half price. So, um, as you can see, this was $3 just for this, and I was like, Ugh. I wanted it for myself. So, I was like, well, it's the only thing I got. Um, so, I did go back up. Uh, I found a strawberry shortcake vanity um, toy. It's So, it had like it looked like a picnic basket and then it had the strawberries on it and strawberry shortcake sat on it on the top. And then you opened it up and there was a brush, a comb and a mirror. And I almost bought that, but, um, because it, that, on the second round, I realized it was half price, but, oh, I got something all over my shirt. Um, 
a couple of the teeth were out of the comb, so I decided not to get it, but it was so cute. And did I really need it? No. And where would I put it? I don't know. But the book was the one thing that I um, found. This one I found at a, I don't know, thrift store a while ago. Um, and I already have this, the red book. So I, I don't know. I think this one, we'll see. I, if somebody's interested in this, I will definitely just bring it to a live sale because I have it. Um, but I, it's one of my favorites. So there's, I'm going to put this in the bring to a sale. This I found at, uh, the consignment store in, uh, near me. And it was originally $5.49 at the consignment store, but it was 80% off because uh, it was back from November. And you know, there's not a Jello book I can't, I, I've got to have. You guys remember this? Have you ever made that? I need to do that again. Just for the fun of, I love Jello, but my kids are, eh. I mean, when, like when Landon had his wisdom teeth out, he would eat it, but it's not something that they, love, but uh, it's one of my favorites. So I bought that. I don't know. I thought it was cute and had the watermelon on the front. Uh, to be a cowboy. This one is also, was also on the 80% off. And this is from, like I need another cowboy book. Oh my goodness. This is from 1999, but I liked the size of it. And I loved that they had illustrations and photos. There's something about books that have both. It just makes me happy. So I really liked that. Uh, this one I thought was cool. This one was from, where was this from? Oh, this was from another one of the um, thrift stores I don't go to very often on the other side of town. But it is from 1967. And I love the images, love the colors. I just think it's it's going to be awesome. So it does talk about all of the, you know, reproductive organs and, you know, it's just back in the day what they, what they had. Um, and so I liked it a lot. This is Christmas in the Big Woods. I didn't, I don't have any of the soft covered little house books. So my thought is I'll put this in with my little prairie stuff. I don't have a lot of little prairie specific items. Um, I have a couple books. Um, it's more, I think, going to be kind of the 1800s, you know, big woods type of, of journal versus Laura Ingalls Wilder. Um, but I thought that would be nice to have. So I... And I did find another one of these while I was in Cedar Rapids. This one I got... Uh, this was from the, um, what do you call that place? Consignment store too. There were only like three of them, but I got this one because it's the adventures of squirrels. So I did find another one and I will be bringing that to a live sale because I don't need to look at that little kitty and the grand squirrel, or I guess it's just a regular squirrel. So yeah, that was exciting to me. Um, I found another one in the series. This is called Too Good to Be True. I did read the whole thing. This was also 80% off. So it was $3.49 at the, at the consignment store, 80% off. So I paid next to nothing for it. And I was so excited. Um, this book, let me, let me refresh my memory. Uh, I did a bolo on uh, the other one that I found. And I think it was the first one in the series. But this one's called Too Good to Be True. And uh, let's see. I think they met boys in this one. Yes, they met boys. And uh, they met a specific boy, Dominic. And everybody liked him. Um, and they got an argument. It's just, her, the way she writes is just so sweet, but it's definitely a great, great book. And they end up all making up and Dominic ends up, um, hanging out with Bina or Bina, 
depending on how you say it. And it's just a lovely little sweet book and it has great lessons. So this won't get torn up. I have, I think there's five in the series. Let me check. It should say on the back here. And this will go into my someday when I have grandbabies. Oh, did they not say? So I believe there were five in the series. And this, I don't know which where this one falls. This one's dedicated to orphans everywhere. Oh, yeah. Darn it. It doesn't have the rest of them on there. Um, so I'm going to continue to be on the lookout for the rest of these. Um, cause I really want to have the full set. Uh, I, w I really, what I would love is to have two sets and then I can use the other images, but the easy how to book, this one was from the thrift store that I don't go to very often. And I liked the large sizes. It's 1973, but look at those. And it's all how to, how to button a coat, how to thread a needle, how to hammer in a nail. And the images are great. The page size is wonderful. Um, I really, really like this. It's so cute. And then finally, I found this. I don't think that my mom kept ours, but this was just like uh, the book that we had growing up, or I had. Um, 1964 is the original copyright, but this is the Mary Poppins book. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I think that my uncle Terry get, got me this book and I loved reading it. I loved the movie. Uh, there's a new one. I have not seen it yet, uh, but I was pretty excited about that. So that'll go in my personal collection too. And that's all the books that I got. Um, but... We need to clear some room here because when I say goodwill for the win, I mean goodwill for the win. Um, this, Dave and I were out and about. It is a roll of tickets, so expect to see this in Happy Mail and kits. Um, this was at a performing arts yard sale school at the school, and this, this whole roll of tickets was a dollar. I was like sign me up. Why they didn't keep it for some other things? I don't know. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through from top to bottom. This was from also when Dave and I are out. I can't, I'm going to leave these in here. There's two pins. They're vintage. Uh, but there's a couple of rhinestones that are out, but they're in here. So I want to be able to put them back in there. So I'm going to leave it. Um, everything at this sale was half price. So I paid $1.50 for those two cutie patootie brooches. And then um, this one, there's my receipt. This one was from that Odd Mama's place. I don't know how old this is, but I think it's going to round out my need for anything else for my Raggedy Ann journals. And I can get those started. And then I think I'm going to have enough stuff to make um, kits or... Um, you know, journal kits, but these were all in there. And it says they're paper dolls. I think these are, it says peel first. I wonder if they're like the clingy ones. So there is that outfit for the beach, gardening, um, stardust and moonbeams, the scattered showers, Wind and Waves, Digging in the Garden for Him, Nightlight, and Puddle Play. So all of those were in there. I thought those would be fun. And I think I can probably figure out enough ways to, with the, all the books that I have, the Raggedy Ann books, to use their images with those outfits if I want to do some pages is my thought. So I got that. And I honestly, I don't, let me see if it, no, nope, she didn't give me a receipt. I, um, she just told me the total, but, um, so I don't know exactly how much that was, but it wasn't much. All right. So these, I got at Goodwill too. This next, nope, I did not. I got these at the consignment store and I hemmed and hawed because it was, this was more, it was $7. I'm like, eh, I don't know, but I ended up trying it out and I love them. So these will be cute to work to use. Specifically, I got them for my um, uh, 
school days journals. So that's awesome. And I do have some school days kits. I don't, did I put them up on the, no, I have not put them up on the maker's market. They're almost finished. And then this set, um, I don't buy a lot of stamps, but for myself anyway, I buy, I'm, I buy them because I know others are interested, but I did find um, this one, which is meats and mains and all of the good and from the kitchen of, and then um, there was a brand new pack. I took it apart um, of the Versa Magic, and these are the colors right here. So I have a printer's drawer with some of these. I don't use these a ton, but these were um, these were at Goodwill, and they were in. Um, I gotta make sure. Yeah, these were in this tote that I'm going to show you in a second. And it's one of the reasons I even bought the tote. So um, here is the tote. Now you'll see the entire tote was $9.49. There were two reasons um, that I picked this up and I'll show you as we go through. Um, and I'll have to kind of think here through this. Uh, this was uh, a little, these are canapes for little cutting um, cookie cutters for canapes, but I thought these would be cute to use in um, cooking journals, so I got those. Um, I always pick up these vintage molds. <clears throat> Usually I get the more small ones, but for my um, assemblage, I like to have these, and they, they work for a lot of different things, so there's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, like six, a six pack of those, so that will go with my assemblage goodies um there were two bags this oh here i'll save that that for last oh there's more books in here um there were two bags of fabric and i couldn't and this was at goodwill i was like what um i did get the curious george takes a job uh it is the lp i'm gonna have to have landon play it on his record player um, I also got this little red book. I don't, I mean, I've been finding them lately, actually quite a bit, but this one's in pretty rough shape. So I will be cutting all of these and fussy cutting them. And then I just like this and there's nothing in it. And I think the lady just threw it in there. Um, but it's, they're little golden records, Peter Cottontail, Easter Parade, and Yankee Doodle Bunny. And I just thought the cover was cute. So I picked those up. All goodwill. Can you believe it? Um... All right, everything. Now, I did take some stuff out that I, um, more receipts that I will be selling, but this is just the stuff that I, I mean, it was chocked full. And so, I'm trying to remember. This was in here. Now, I'm going to try this out. I don't have one of these, but I did buy some of these blending tools a while ago. So, this is the Ranger square one, but it came with all of these. So $9.49 for the, the tote that's in great shape and everything in it. And it was full of stamps. And I think maybe most of the stamps I've already sold. Um, I only kept those that I just showed you. And then um, this was in here. No, what was it? Was this at the same place? This was at many hands. Oh, why did I get this? Because look, so I kind of condensed. It's a craft room. And it's a pillowcase. But I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to make that into a... I don't know what. <laughs> Something. <laughs> but I thought it was too cute to not leave behind. And it was $1.29. So I thought it was worth it. Um, in this... Whoa. In this tote were also these mesh bags... Um, these would be great if you live near the beach and went shelling or rock hounding or whatever. Uh, but I think these would be cute to use for something or packaging, you know. They kind of look like a uh, tool a little bit. So, you know, it's right up my alley. Um, this I got separate. This was from Many Hands. I, I need to open this up because I'm not quite understanding what the story is behind it. The tote was mostly full of stamps and inks. And, you know, you take your chances because it's sealed shut. So you're like, well, am I going to... And some of the inks were, were not good, but some of them weren't. This was 
was this two dollars or was it the sale then? I can't remember what color was half price. Let's just do this. So I don't know what the story is about this. I think maybe you're supposed to hang it and then cut it off where you want it. But I love the color of it. And I'm assuming that you would maybe use it as a shelf liner or whatever, but um I think this could be used for days and look at how much is there. So that was that. So we'll use this for something. I'm going to save this and throw the rest of the, I'll use that for something shortly. Um, it is Saturday when I'm filming this and I was so behind. I had birthday, happy mail. I had haul stuff, all kinds of things that I needed to, to do, but I was gone all week. And so I didn't get to get to do all of that. Okay. So I was catching up. Um, I did get, now this was in, this was inside of this tote, but it, it was, and, and the tote was all sealed up. So I don't know if somebody priced it and then ended up putting it in there or what, but I did not see this initially. And then when I opened it up to look at the, um, ones with the, cookbook stuff. I was like, this is fantastic. So these are all school related, which will go great with the, with the school stuff as well. So that was fun, fun, fun to get. Um, I guess I left this big old chunky monkey clip in here. I don't know. I'll put it somewhere. <laughs> I don't know that I'll ever use it. Um, and then finally, um, this was from many hands. There was, this was in a bag with these for a dollar. Um, this was, these were a dollar. They were half price. I think the green tags must've been half price. I use these, uh, these are what you would make like the bracelets with. And I just use these like when I bundle my, um, playing cards or things like that. They're just really, I mean, it, like I said, I paid 50 cents for them and they last forever. So that's what I bought those for. Um, the other reason this was all in that, um, in that tote as well. There were a few others. I think that haven't come to the sale that I decided I wouldn't use. And then, um, some were, you know, they were. They didn't work. So those were there. I've got Moonstruck and Indian Corn Blue. If you ever see Close to My Heart um, inks, I would say pick them up. It's worth the, you know, test to see. There's some more daubers. And then there were some erasers in there. This is for, like, glue to get your glue and stuff off, which is wonderful. Um, so all in all, for $9. And it doesn't look like much because it's I've thinned out the herd, if you will. Um... And those are just the things that I'm keeping, but it really was chocked full of um, wonderful things. So everyone wins, right? Everyone wins. Okay, now let me put all of this aside. I'll put it away later. Back into the tote you go. And I'll show you, was there two bags or one bag? I'll remember when I look at this. Um. I never find fabric at Goodwill that I really like, ever. Um, once in a while, I might find a sheet or something like that, but generally, no. And these were in Ziploc bags. I'm trying to, I cannot remember if, I don't remember if there was one or two. Um, but it had a lot of other, fa like, you know, f regular fabrics in it, little scraps and things like that. But when I saw that th there was feed sack fabric, feed sack fabric and old vintage fabric in there, I was like, okay, I'm taking it home. I don't remember how much they charged me. Let me see. Maybe I have this. Um, shoes. I didn't buy any shoes. It looks like somewhere between three, three ninety nine or four ninety nine. 
if I had to deduce. Um, and this is what was in there. So this is what they're supposed to look like. Well, here, that is what it's supposed to look like. And so you would gather each of these. As you can see, they've gathered all of these just with a basting stitch. And then you would sew a hand sew all of uh, uh, the circle in there. So there are some that are finished. And aren't they gorgeous? And I'm like, mm, now I want to make a, a cover for every, like each one of these I want to make a cover for. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? So there's one, two, three, four, five that are finished. And then somewhere, where is it? Oh, right here. I was going to, before I saw this other stuff, I was going to um, not use, I was going to, put this in bundles and I'm like oh that's the centers for the all of the sunflowers or flowers so I did keep it I'm thinking because I'll show you in a second all of these are ready to go so here's what here's what it would look like first right and then you do your basting stitch around here pull them tight and then you come in and hand stitch all of your circles in there um so, I'm thinking I may, I may do some slow stitching and finish these. I think it would be something I could do while sitting and watching TV with Dave or a movie. And I think I can handle it. I can do a basting stitch and then hand stitch a circle. I'm pretty sure. Um, so, they look pretty big like when they're like this. But then when you pull all these tight, obviously, then they, they're like that, like this one. That's what they look like. I could not believe it. And at Goodwill. Now, I'll have to go through. I don't know how many of these are real feed sack and how much, how many of them are just vintage fabrics. But there's a little bit of both. And then uh, in there as well were all these pieces. So these are like half done. I don't know if they were rejects or or what but they'll be great for clusters and things like that like see these were already ready um i guess i could probably this is this would be like another one these are the other part of the flower so we'll see i'll play around with it um i, I might not waste my time i might just do the ones that's going to be enough <laughs> it'll take me long enough but these would all make cute something something out of them and I, this way I can you know share some of these vintage fabrics too so I was tickled I was so excited um I could not believe that I found vintage fabric at Goodwill for a reasonable price so yay me and that my friends is all the things that I found in my um travels and recent thrifts so i hope you enjoyed it tell me what your favorite was uh tell me what you guys have all been up to and what you're on the lookout for i'll be sure to look for you as well and until next time friends remember to take time to just be cheers <music>